Wow, I have not done a press play episode in so long and um, it was such a serendipitous encounter that when I decided to put this together then Coming to America 2 came out and that's what we want to talk about today Okay, quick disclaimer, if you haven't watched the movie, uh, I suggest you stop now because there are going to be a bunch of spoilers in this So you can go check out the movie then come back and watch this video or or because I never freaking understood spoilers because you can still go watch the movie after watching this it doesn't make any sense um two um there are a couple of people who have gone online and shared their opinions about oh this movie is depicting africans or the black community in a certain light and all that kind of stuff and they're entitled to their opinions that's it's, it's okay but that's not what i'm about <laughs> So we are not going to be doing that here, okay? <laughs> All right. So this is press play. Now today, like I said, we're talking about coming to America too. But we cannot start with that one without first talking about one. Coincidentally, coming to America one came out on the exact same year I was born. This is 1998. Actually, about two months after I was born. So this is about. 33 years in the future okay that's when this movie is set eddie murphy sorry sorry the prince of wakanda in the beginning of the movie who then transitions on to be the king what? did i just say wakanda <laughs> oh it's zamunda <laughs> black panther the prince of zamunda who then transitions on to be the king of zamunda throughout the movie uh, supposedly has an illegitimate child uh, back in New York so he goes to New York to fetch his kin and bring him back to Zamunda to claim his birthright okay now here is where the problem in the movie begins so one I don't know why they had to do this but okay fine it happens it happens and there are people who just bat after bat they just keep having girls i don't know if i'm one of those people because <laughs> my first one is a girl and i don't know <laughs> what my second one gonna be but in this movie he had three daughters and according to zamundan law you, uh, a woman could not rule yeah there's that whole feminist thing and we're not gonna tackle that because we do not want to be cancelled we're just getting started we do not want to be cancelled so he has to go fetch his son because it's only your man who can rule in Zamunda, blah, blah, blah. Now, right off the bat, right off the bat, let's first discuss these guys. These people in Coming to America 1, if I were to guess, these are about 40 to 50 year old people in this shot right now. And we are counting 33 years in the future. And when <laughs> Eddie Murphy walks into the barber shop, these guys are still on their feet. I said, like, <laughs> I know there are some energetic um, senior citizens out there, okay? I know they exist, but these guys <laughs> are still running their barber shop and they're still on their feet. Um, there are a lot of questions in this area, a lot of questions, okay? <laughs> Now, moving on, first of all, can we just, can we just address this glow up as in just, just really appreciate this glow up as in he had me wishing, I actually, I'm actually thinking about doing a little sum sum. We'll see what comes with that, but can we just take a second, just one second to appreciate what the stylist did with this young man. Huh? Prince Lavelle was looking fly as I don't want to cuss in this video. I don't. But he was looking fly as you know what I mean. So now, um, first of all, <laughs> let's just discuss Blade. I don't care what they call him, what they call him in any movie. To me, Whistler Snipes is Blade. So let's first discuss Blade. Blade has what can only be described as uh a bombshell of a daughter in this movie as in did you see her entrance into the throne room damn even lavelle's mom i'm sorry prince lavelle's mom accepted you know like was like get that as it because she was just mm, like no words man no freaking words <laughs> 
So he turned that down because he found another connection in the woman who in the movie fixed up his hair. I would love her if she fixed up my hair like that. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> so now let's just address the elephant in the room. So um, why, why didn't Lavelle just hook up with her, you know, as in there would I like, okay, okay. Would, would there really be a problem like if these two guys hooked up would there really be an issue we have a category for it in every porn site imaginable so would it really be a bad thing like you know i'm just putting it out there i'm just i'm just putting that out there as in it's not it wasn't the plot of the movie but maybe you should have joined in a thought or two now <laughs> in summary in summary, because I, I, I can rant about this movie forever, because it was just an amazing film. This uh, was a lovely tribute to what people can achieve uh, when they put their efforts together. This was amazing, because Eddie Murphy and what's his name? His other main guy, I keep forgetting his name. Uh, these guys have known each other for years, and they have worked together on countless projects. And this is what comes of it you're able to look back onto previous work and reimagine it and rebuild it and make something even more spectacular coming to america too is um i think i've, I've, I've praised this movie way too much because it deserves it uh leave alone all that rhetoric online about how it's painting the black community in a in a different light um all that is okay that like i said that's their opinion and they're entitled to it uh but it's a phenomenal movie um it's an entertaining movie um it's a family movie and if you can you should go check it out uh <laughs> i think it's streaming on amazon prime that means it is everywhere on every torrent site by now so go download it check it out and you will not regret it <laughs> yeah this is ricky nelson and that was press play